All right, guys, let's talk about your setup uh, for a little bit, just the, the very basic setup. Now, what we've been doing in class whenever you don't have your stuff is obviously you do the password recovery process. Um, and if there is a configuration on there and you need to get in the setup so that you can put your basic commands in there, um, you're doing a, a, a write erase and then you're rebooting it and then it should boot up like just like this. Now, and then you guys are hitting yes and you're doing the pre-configured prompts to get into the basic setup. But what happens if you accidentally hit no and you bypass this? Now, Oh my gosh, I have some diving lessons. So at this point, if you do a show int, remember the thing that we're looking for to bring the router, or I'm sorry, the ASA up, I don't know why I always say router, is VLAN 1, or whatever your VLAN that you're going to be using, needs to be assigned to the inside interface, needs to have an IP address, and it needs to be up. So right now VLAN 1 is not in anything, there's obviously there's nothing in here, it's down and it has no IP address. So what we've been doing in class at this point is just doing a write erase and then a reload and then you guys get back to the prompt and you hit yes and then you just kind of go through the prompts. But what if you don't want to do the prompts? What you do, and again, and this is obviously much faster because you don't have to wait for the ISO to boot, um, but I want to make sure that I show you that way first. So what you do is config T, get in there and go to interface VLAN 1 now, give it an IP address. Now, do a name if space inside. Now, this assigns VLAN 1 to the inside interface. And now that IP address that you just put in now works on ports 1 through 7. Remember, don't forget, port 0 by default is the outside interface set up for DHCP because obviously that's the one you connect into your um, ISP. And then ports 1 through 6 are all, or port 1 through 7 are all switch ports um, and they all respond to this IP address. Now, you also need to do a no shutdown to bring that interface up. And that should be it. Now, if you do an end and do a show INT, you'll see that VLAN 1 is now assigned to the inside interface. It's, it's well, it's still down. And then the IP address, it still has an IP address. Now, why is it down? Because there's nothing plugged in. Uh, the line protocol is down. Um, if I actually plugged in my PC to this, um, then it would actually show up. So right now on this ASA, again, there's nothing plugged into it, just my console port, and that's why it's showing down. But in class, it should be fine. Now, one more thing. Um, after you do this, whatever port you're plugged into, and again, remember, typically, um, I tell you guys all to use 5. That way, we're all on the, kind of the same sheet of music. Um, go to Interface, um, Ethernet, 0, 5, and do a no shutdown, and then you can end again. And now, again, now if I was plugged into port 5, this sucker would be up and I could do everything that I wanted to do. Um, I could activate my HTTP server, um, do those commands, and then get into the ASDM, or however I wanted to do it. But this way, you don't have to keep doing you know, the right erase, um, reboot the sucker, and then wait for the prompts and answer the prompts. Obviously, this is much faster. You can probably get this done faster um, than the ASA will boot. So if you have any questions, again, don't forget, make sure you ask in class.